What's good with you, YouTube? It's your boy, Chops. Coming to you with another video. Been putting them out since the Christmas holidays. Hey, if you, to the point in your bills, we were splurge, splurge a little bit. ARP. I'm going to go through my ARP boats with you. Show you some part numbers. Show you what I got as far as my ARP setup. Now, this is splurging. You don't have to go this way. You can stick with the stock boats, uh, which they work fine, depending on what you're doing with your bill. Like I said, this here. Now, on all my bills, um, except the the Caprice, I have ARP boats. And some of the stuff I, in my Caprice is ARP. Um, um, I went with uh, the Chinese version of studs. Now, all my bills, I got studs as far as head boats. Um, um, I got studs. But the two bills that I got the majority of um, power in, I got ARP studs. So let me show you what I got. First one up um, is the uh, the uh, balancer boat, which is a uh, part number. See if you can see that two three four dash two five zero three ARP balancer boat. Second boat is the flywheel boat. Depending on how you're running. Um, here's the uh, part number 330-2802 flywheel boat kit. Now, if you're running a manual, you won't need this. I already had bought this before I got the manual. I just gonna throw it out there because most people, um, actually, I'm sorry. This is, this is the, this is the correct kit for my flywheel, which most people got flex plate. And this is the flywheel boat kit. Just in case you're running a manual and you get six of those. timing cover this is the front of the cover that covers the the oil pump and these you get you get these boats here let's see if I can get the part number for you this is the front cover timing cover 134-1502 ARP and this is the rear cover this is the one to hold your rear main seal, 134-1504. Now this is the bell housing. Bell housing bolts. Put them down like that so you can see it. Get you that part number, 134-0902, bell housing bolts. This is for both. Doesn't matter what bell housing you got. It could be an automatic transmission. It can be a manual transmission. They're all the same. All right, here's the oil pump bolts. Now, I have to tell you about the oil pump bolts. Let me get your part number first. 134-6902. Now, if you're gonna run, keep in mind, ARP made this bolt kit for the stock oil pump excuse me believe my last this is for the stock oil pan stock oil pan now if you're running a muscle pan um or a holly pan or any other company pan keep in mind these long bolts are going to be too long they're going to be too long because the stock oil pan it's a lot longer than the Holly, a lot longer than the muscles, GM muscle pan. So these two long bolts are gonna be too long. So what I did when I put mine together on on the, uh, which I got a muscle pan in the box and I got a Holly pan in the brown pickup. I had to shim, I had to put a shim or I had to put more washers to take up the space. It's not a lot of space, but I had to put some more washers to take up the space because this boat is too long. 
So keep in mind, so when you tighten this down, you're going to have a gap. It's not going to seat all the way. So you have to take that space up. But keep in mind of that when you get this, because this is technically for a stock oil pan or LS. Okay, I went a little bit, I went a little fancy. Well, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong thing and, and looking at the this boat. But this boat kit here is for the uh, the uh, the valley cover boats. These are the valley cover boats, so the valley pan um, on the LS. And all these are, let me get you that part number there for 134 that's 8002. And all these boats that I'm naming right now are the 12 point. They come in, uh, let me see, the 12 point, 6 point, hex. So they come in three different variations. Uh, uh, they come in the uh, 12 point, they come in the um, six point and they come in the hex um, and they also come in two different types of finishing this is the uh, black oxidon finish and then you got the chrome molly finish too now I had to get some universal bolts let me get them all out make sure I'm, I'm tracking all right so I got some universal bolts so basically this will work with any um any um I want to say any GM re in. This is the bolts that hold the uh the um the cover on the re in, the re in cover. Let me give you that part number there. It's 641-0750. This is uni this is universal, so I had to figure out what that boat was and then I just told them what I needed and that's what they gave me and I got three sets of those because it's uh, a 10 boat um, it's a 10 boat or 12 boat depending on what year uh, you have now since I'm running a manual transmission I had to get the uh, flex plate uh, boats which I get a part number 134 that's 2201 and the only thing different about these these are only in six um, point these are six point which excuse me this is hex head excuse me which this is the only way it comes so I had to get the <coughs> excuse me excuse me you don't see this anyway it's inside the transmission so but I wanted ARP <coughs> excuse me okay this here is the water pump and the uh, thermostat housing bolts. Let me get you that part number. 134-3202. Now, I may not use these because I have special bolts because I have the true track system. Now, I don't know if these will work. Uh, again, this is for the stock stuff. Um, if you wasn't running, if you were running just the stock um, water pump without the uh, accessory drive that I have, uh, this may not work. I got to see when I put it together. I had to use, well, <clears throat> I used it on the uh, brown pickup. So I don't think I have a problem. I just don't think it's all the same. So this will work on that. This will work on that. So I'm sorry, blame my last. And the big dog is right here. Now I already, also in my rear end, I wanted to note, uh, I, I wanted to tell you in my rear end, I put, there's, there's bolts to hold your caps on, to hold your rear end, um, your your uh, differential, I guess you would call it, yeah, differential in place. I use studs and the ARP studs. I do not have the, the part number, but if you uh, comment below, I'll find that part number for you. But I got studs, ARP studs, holding the uh, the caps down in the differential, in the ring. I also have um, uh, ARP bolts holding the cam in. Um, I also have ARP bolts holding the cam plate in. I also have ARP bolts holding the pump in. I already placed on the engine. Um, here, lay my, uh, sorry about the trash. We had Christmas party over here and I had not dumped my trash out. Again, you have the ARP bolts here holding the gears in, the cam. You have ARP bolts here holding the pump in. 
and you have ARP bolts behind here holding that uh, uh, comp cam plate in, the cam plate. Uh, also have, I, I'll, if somebody needs those part numbers, I'll get them for you. I don't have them because I already threw the package away. But I have ARP um, bolts holding out. The intake down here. All of those. And I think that's it for the motor. I didn't go with ARP studs holding the uh, the main caps in. I didn't change those because I should have. I just didn't do it. I'm, and I may go back to doing since my motor's not all the way together. But I bought this. This is a crate engine. I didn't want to mess with it, so I may not change it at all. And I may, I may, I may get them anyway. I may get them anyway. Uh, I think that's all the bolts. All these are. Comp cam bolts. I didn't change these out, and I'm not going to change them out because these are comp cam. Comp cam. They came with comp. They came with the rocker, so I'm not going to mess with them. But I think that's all the bolts that I don't have the part numbers for. But if you message me or you you send me a comment, I will get you those bolts if you want to change them. Pretty easy to get for you. Okay, the next one is the. Uh, the big dog. These are the head studs. The head studs here. See if I can get you a part number. Part number is 234-4316. And these studs here, I'm not gonna open them up, but they they 12 point also. I went with the thing with 12 point where I could get the 12 point. Most of the stuff that's not 12 point are not gonna be seen. So that's why I think they only made it that one way. Now you can get it two ways, but you can only get it as far as the head way is uh, six point or hex. I mean hex, excuse me, and you can get it um, chrome molly or black. But this is the kit, or this is the bolts that I'm using on my 60, 6.0 .0 out there for my 60, 1960 Chevrolet C10. I went and I splurged. I got everything ARP. Um, um, I don't have a price on what I paid for it. I bought everything individually. On, um, I think I paid close to these studs here. I think I paid close to 350, maybe a little bit more with these studs. Like I said, this is splurging now. This is like my third, fourth bill. So I gradually went up in the bills on how I want to do them. Um, like I said, the, the, the brown pickup uses the Chinese studs, which the Chinese studs, they're, they're, they're a copycat of ARP. They got the same tensile strength as the ARP. Um, I think they, they're, I forgot what they're rated at. I think, um, I forgot what they're rated at, but you can look them up. You can Google it and look that up. I might have the, the, the Chinese studs that I got off eBay. Most people call them the eBay studs. Um, some people call them the Chinese studs. I, I bought two sets of them. I put one in the brown truck and one in the uh, Caprice. They worked fine. I had had no issue so far. Actually, I believe my my, my last that the the, the, uh, the Caprice has the Chinese studs. The first motor I built that I I sold has Chinese studs. The brown pickup has has ARP studs. Haven't had any problem with them out of my Caprice. I haven't had any complaints from the other motor I built um, that the guy bought for me. So. The, the the Chinese studs. If you if you like I said, if you're on a budget and you want to go with studs, the Chinese studs work fine. You find them on eBay. They make when I bought mine, they were 99 bucks. I'm pretty sure everybody was buying them. They increased the price on them. I, they're probably a little bit over 100 bucks now. Um, if you can't even find it, at one point you couldn't even find them because people were buying them out. But I went with uh with all ARP for this bill here. Complete everything ARP, um, and I'm still debating like i said earlier i'm debating if i want to get the, the the main cap studs and 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 the uh already the uh the rods have arp in them the rods um the caps on the rods are already arp um and the only thing that's not in that motor that's uh is the main caps for us studs so i may not do that and but i may but here it is the boat setup kit for my my build 
I just wanted to put it out there, give people some part numbers, um, show you what I got as far as the boats and what you could do if you wanted to upgrade from stock to an aftermarket boat kit. All right, guys, there it is, the boat kit for uh, the, the 6.0 ARP. Um, there you go. Thanks.